So a character that you might have forgot about over the years that's kind of made his way back to the comics in many different ways lately is possibly, and I think it's a really good thing, making his way to the Sony Spider-Man universe. Sony universe of Spider-Man characters. What are we calling it now? Like, I don't even know. Let's just get into it. So... As you know, as a lot of people know, Ben Riley is now Chasm in the comics. And if you don't know anything about Chasm, I'll do another video on that because I don't want to dive into the logistics of all of that right now. Let's just dive into the logistics of Ben Riley. Who is Ben Riley and why do I believe that he could be the next big thing in the Sony Spider Man universe or Sony Spider Verse? What are we calling it? Anyways. Without diving too much into that, there's a lot that's been going on. Scarlet Spider was in the Across the Spider-Verse trailer. We caught a glimpse of him. And with that being said, that means that they could be planning something for the Scarlet Spider. But I honestly believe that one of the next logical places to go with Tom Holland's character is to start introducing some villains that we have not seen yet in the MCU or SSU. And that means that it would be Characters such as the Jackal, characters like Hobgoblin. Ned Leeds could easily play Hobgoblin after forgetting that Peter Parker was his best friend in the first three movies. That is a massive possibility and one that I would be interested in. But that also means that the Clone Saga is not off the table. That it's a huge possibility that the Clone Saga could be the next steps for the Sony Spider-Verse. Do I believe that that's going to be where they take this? Probably not. Do I believe that they could very easily move into, hey, this is what's going on, someone stole your DNA, and this is where we're going with it? That is a huge possibility. The reason being, because we know that there's a lot of stuff happening with Tom Holland and Spider-Man right now. We know that Venom is now in the MCU, SSU, Tom Holland Spider-Verse, or universe, the Marvel 616, and we know that there could be more out there with Tom Holland's DNA possibly getting out. Like, all of this stuff is a huge possibility. Mysterio knew who he was, and we don't, I don't think Mysterio's dead, and we at the Comics Lounge don't think Mysterio's dead, but there is so much that could happen with Ben Riley. So why do I think this? Why would this be a really cool way to go? Well, one, you could have a variant of Spider-Man in the Spider-Man comics or in the Spider-Man movies. You could then talk more about how it's possible and also how they kind of don't have to look alike. You could have someone who looks somewhat like Tom Holland and it could happen at any time throughout his career as Spider-Man because Ben Riley is aged to be as close as close to Peter Parker as possible in most of the comics that he's in. He even takes over as Spider-Man in the Beyond Corporation series when Spider-Man is unable to um, heal and doesn't heal as quickly. And honestly, he is a forgotten character for a lot of people who aren't huge Spider-Man fans because he has played so many different roles in the comics over the years. The Scarlet Spider being one of his biggest roles and also just the Clone Saga being a massive version of his character, um, releasing of his character, and then also the subsequent stuff that happened. Again, I'm not going to dive into this right now. That's a video for Friday Night Comics Lounge. We're going to be talking all about who is the real Peter Parker, Ben Riley or Peter Parker. But the biggest thing right now is how can we dive deeper? How can the Sony Spider-Verse really get into even more of these amazing characters with madam webb that is a massive possibility and here's why madam webb knows every variation she's right over there knows every variation of spider-man can and we saw this in a early adaptation of this way back in the late 90s with the spider-man um animated tv show that came out in 94 
So the possibilities are endless with Ben Riley. He really is an amazing character, and there's so much they could do building up and team ups between Peter Parker and Ben Riley. Things that they could do where you have multiple Spider Men fighting their own battles separately and then coming together, much like they did in that animated series. And let's be real Ben Riley, awesome Spider Man, very well done. And what else can I say? Like, he really is this perfect version minus the mental instability that he has once he finds out that he's a clone. And that's where this all comes into play, is trying to figure out who he is, trying to figure out the chasm that is Ben Riley. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure talking about this, and I can't wait to talk more. So come join us Thursday night, or Friday night, sorry, at the Comics Lounge, 10 p.m. Eastern. Can't wait to see you. This is going to be a massive, massive show. There's so much to unpack and even more to unpack now that we have all this DC news. So check out that video on Thursday because we're going to be talking about how people want James Gunn fired. And now after Henry Cavill's departure, that's probably going to amp up. So thank you for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure. Stay nerdy, comic fam. And as always, loungers assemble every Friday night, 10 p.m. Eastern. Same place. See you soon.